We are going to do a review of a game I played with one of my students. It's important to review our games, learn what we did right, what we did wrong, so we can improve and play better chess in the future. We want to get deeper into this game, and yeah, game reviews is part of what you need to do. Let's check it out. This is from my perspective. I'm playing against a student. I'm playing the white pieces, and I think I get to play my my new opening that I like to call the Snow Dragon. <laughs> it's a Snow Dragon. They call it the English opening, but uh, it, it's like a reversed Sicilian dragon is the idea. Uh, one issue with this uh, opening that I've been using is I don't tend to expand my pawn structure in the center like I can as white. White often has that option, but I'm opting to get my bishop to this uh, nasty position early. I really like having my bishop there. And I'll call this my snow dragon right there. That's my snow dragon bishop. Um, if you guys all call it that too, eventually maybe everybody will call it that because I do have a lot of students. And if you tell your friends it's called the snow dragon, maybe they'll stop calling it the English. Um, okay, so yeah, you want to develop your pieces efficiently, get your knights and bishops into the game. And yeah, I'm kind of lagging with my pawns in the center, so I, I've got to get something going there. That turns out to be the best move. That's what that that little uh, um, symbol means. Uh, yep, just developing our pieces, getting them in, involved. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm putting some pressure on there that the knight can't go anywhere. But she attacks me right away, or I should say the student attacks me right away. Uh, and uh, I felt like I was forced just to play this. It wasn't going to work out otherwise. And perhaps it would be to my advantage. Uh, as now, black doesn't really have any great place to castle. Uh, you know, maybe you castle to the queen side here, but that pawn being pushed could be an issue. Um, there's already some pawn movement over there. Uh, if you're castling to the king side, though, missing that bishop could be a problem, although I'm missing that bishop too, so it might be okay. But I felt like that was good. So I, this was a mistake here. So I made a mistake. Um, and I... Oh, the, I end up losing a rook, don't I? I end up going down. What should I have played here? I should have prevented the knight. Interesting. Playing that move. Okay, so that was my best move. So what do I... So this move... So this is a blunder. And, and my student does find the best move. So really putting pressure on here. And I've got to worry about this knight move here. And I remember thinking about this, but I was like, well, yeah, I can play this move and get myself out of it. And I was actually thinking, you know, we could play for a draw right now. So this was in a class situation. So a lot of stuff going on and I'm, I'm, I always give a draw. So like, okay, if you're going to let me force a draw, I will definitely do that against my students. It's kind of fun for me. So this was a blunder, I guess. Um, yeah. So what should I have done? I should have just told the bishop to get lost. Yeah, that does make sense. That does make sense. Uh, but I felt like I could get away with it. I was calculating, and I thought I could get away with it. I, um, Yeah, so I play back here. She plays, uh, yeah. Um, and we dance around. I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine with the draw here. Um, and this switches it up. So this was actually a mistake then, it says. What was best? So the student should have played, oh. I'm thinking that move, I thought that the bishop should have been there, but I forgot my knight. Yeah, so then I take here, and then you've got maybe probably knight captures, check, winning a piece. Although I do have a checking move. Um, yeah, hmm. Okay, so Cheryl does admit that she was playing this game. Uh -huh. So I think she ends up taking the advantage here. She ends up going up material. I end up doing some sort of crazy sacrifice, if I remember right. I just was trying to get at the king. I thought I could get an Arabian mate, but there's not enough time to think it all out. And then Cheryl finds the best move here. This is why that was a blunder. Fantastic move, Cheryl. I wasn't paying attention. So now I've got to give up a rook here probably for two, you know, I'm going to give up. Wait, so if you capture and I capture with the rook, yeah, I'd be losing the exchange. Not, not a good situation for me. 
Uh, so I decide to give up the queen, thinking I could force an Arabian mate, but Cheryl manages to get out of it. Uh, although that wasn't necessarily the best way to play it. I wonder what would have been the better move here. Just put me in check. Hmm. And I would be forced to... Well, I could play... This or this. I was thinking about it, and I... Yeah, I mean, I, I knew that this, this wasn't exactly sound, but... Turn that suddenly stops. Okay. And that was oh yeah, that was a blunder there, so it ends up it ends up working out to a draw once again. I gotta go rescue my son here, so it's about time to take a break. But that was the game. It was a it was a good one for sure. Uh, Just trying to improve my position little I'll by little. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take, uh, let's go ahead and call that the, the game review there. Um, yeah, thanks for checking that out. All right, well, thank you for joining me for that. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know about future videos as I will be posting many videos every week. Thank you. Bye-bye.